Sometimes I almost get ran over right here. Yo, what's up ladies and gentlemen? Cat Daddy on the scene just popped up just like that. Yeah, I'm on my lunch break. About to go grab me something to eat. Today, we are gonna be doing some vlogging. I haven't done a vlog yet. I mean, maybe I have, but I didn't go in with the intention of saying, oh, this is a vlog. But uh, today, this is gonna be a vlog. So I'm driving over to where I usually get a salad which is at Ralph's grocery store. And I'm gonna go vlog a little bit of that. I'm gonna go do some vlogging. We're gonna see how this goes. This is basically one of our experiment videos. If you're just now tuning into this channel and you don't know, this channel is basically just an experimental channel at this point. I'm just now trying to start up a YouTube channel. I haven't really decided what angle I wanna take on this channel which direction I want to go into. So I'm leaving it open so I don't have to narrow down to any kind of niche. So I can basically kind of do any kind of video I want. Probably will be some kind of marketing channel because I'm documenting everything that I do on the videos and seeing what, what works the best, the results, what gets the best results, what gets the best clicks. So far, if you've seen the dog adoption video, that one has really taken off. Also, the Tupac video that I did about Demetrius being Tupac's son. Yeah! Anyway, we're gonna go out here. It might be a little awkward. It might be a little awkward going out here. I haven't vlogged in front of a crowd, but that's okay, because I'm always putting myself in awkward situations. So it's all good. I mean, and that's the norm anyway, right? Vlogging, that's pretty much the norm. So let's go check it out. Oh, wow. Today's a pretty nice day, usually. Usually it's like burning up out here. But uh, like, you know, frying like a freaking egg out here. But it's all good. Not today, it's like a really nice day. So bam, this is Ralph right here. Boom. Check it out. Oh, and that dude. Hey, you see sitting over there? He's always slanging that cheese. He works in that cheese department. He's always slanging that cheese, you know what I'm saying? So we're gonna go up in here. Bam. It's already a little bit awkward because people are all staring. But look, let's go see what's cracking up in here. Oh, the buffet is on point. Sometimes I get some of that buffet right there. It's pretty damn scrumptious, pretty delish. But uh, yeah, take a look. Now to be honest, this buffet isn't really all that, but uh, it's like the most healthiest way to go. You gotta take what you can get, you know what I mean? If you wanna be kinda trying to do the health thing. But you know what I really think? I think uh, what they do is they give you the rotten, the rotten veggies out of here. Because it's, it's kind of rotten sometimes. So I think they give you the veggies that are going bad. So yeah, I got a little bit of, a little bit of lettuce here. Gonna throw me some chicken up in there. Get a little bit of cheese, some of these carrots. The salad bar, I used to have like so many other veggies. I don't know why they cut all the veggies back. Like bell peppers. And a bunch of other stuff I don't remember. Sometimes these carrots, they got like black mold on them. But it's okay, you know? I figure I'm not gonna die, so it's gonna be all right. Even though sometimes I wish it would just kill me. You know, it's like just get it over with. All right, I think we're all good. So now I'm gonna put on some of this balsamic dressing. What y'all know about that? Yeah, it's pretty tasty stuff. Oh, and they got these new containers. They're so fucking annoying. But uh, hold it. 2,000 years later. It's a challenge just trying to close that lid. They used to have these really nice containers, but 
Yeah, they wanted to go like cheaper and shit. They gave the customer cardboard boxes. So it's not even cool. Pretty nasty. It's pretty disgusting to eat your food like that. Alright, so now I'm gonna check out over here. I'm about to go check out. Usually usually it's all empty. I can just go and check out, but today it's crowded. Boom. We got an open one right here. Alright, so I got my salad. I'm about to go eat in the car. So that's basically the routine right there, but they don't have the salad out every day. Sometimes I come here and it's like, oh man, where's the salad? You know what I'm saying? Y'all know I come here at 11 o'clock every single day, like where's the salad? Then I have to drive like to Taco Bell or something. Although they do have a Baja Fresh over there, but sometimes it's not so fresh. So I don't go there all the time. Actually, I don't go there at all. They have a salad, but it's not even a salad. It's just like water crash or some shit and some other nasty stuff that's just crunchy. I'm getting settled in the car so far so good. I only have an hour to eat and I gotta get back to work. Normally what I do, I just chill out in the whip and watch YouTube videos. All right, so, bam. They put it in this nasty ass container. Like it gives you that feeling of someone's scratching on a chalkboard. First of all, they take all the good shit off the salad bar. I was already mad about that. And then, they want to change the packaging of it. They want to change the container of it. Already, that's some good shit right there. Even though the veggies are rotten, you're still getting a good source of nutrition. Because if I went to like, Taco Bell or some shit. I'm sure the ingredients that they put in their burritos and tacos, I'm sure that shit's all rotten too. And on top of that, it's processed. I don't really like to fuck with all that. Like I'm either eating salads, steaks, fish, or eggs, or bacon. You know, meat, eggs, and fucking veggies. That's basically all I eat. And on the cool and shit, when I first got here, I was just like eating fast food. You know, I'm like damn near 40 years old now. So, the metabolism isn't working like it used to. So, you know, if you don't care, then yeah, go ahead and keep eating whatever you want to eat. Where are my cat daddy team at? This is actually really good. Anyway, yeah, with this channel and everything, you know, you never know what you're going to do. But this is just an experimental channel. I'm just over here experimenting. Right now, I'm vlogging. I got to do the vlogger way. In case you're wondering though about a leader. Alita's doing good. My brother-in-law Daigoro, he's taking care of her, giving her everything she needs. He brought her to the vet, he had to pay like some big money. He's gonna bring her to get the surgery because she has to get that cyst removed off her leg. I don't know if you can see it, but there's mountains and shit over there. It's kind of what I see every day when I roll into work. Right now we're at 23 minutes. It's like a lot of vlogging. But I'm gonna cut it back. I'm gonna, I'm gonna edit it out. And I wanted to do the vlog thing to see how it goes. It's another experiment. You know, they had them channels where people just sit there and they eat. And they just talk about stuff. But people actually watch it. This ain't a screw. It's real life right here. And this guy here. <clears throat> Where'd he go? Oh, there he is. The guy with the carts. He's out here every day. He's out here every day pushing those carts. Remember when I first came to Hollywood? Well, I'm not in Hollywood anymore, but when I first moved out here to California, I was probably like 19 years old, and I went and got a job as Food for Less. It was like my first day on the job. The guy was like, you're gonna have to go out there and push some carts. I was like, oh, for real? How come I can't do cash here? The guy was like, you need to go out there and push carts. 
I was like, really, why do I gotta push cards? Like, why can't I just be a cashier? Like, why do I have to be under the blistering hot sun? He said, well, you have to prove yourself to me. I was just thinking, I ain't gotta prove shit. You know what I'm saying? I just straight up walked out. Fucking chicken still had the bone in it. You gotta be careful, you know what I mean? I could just die right now while I'm making this vlog. Just choke on a chicken bone. Then I wouldn't be able to upload it. It would be a wasted vlog. I gotta go mail these packages out. Because my wife sells on eBay every day. Be mailing out some packages. I made a video about that. Shit, y'all can start slanging on eBay. A little side income. It adds up. You knock off some hot items at the 99 cent store for a dollar, turn around slang it for 10 or 15 plus shipping. Bowling in the mix, you know what I'm saying? Now actually selling on eBay is like a lot of hard work. I was gonna do it and I was like, nah, that's too much work. I ain't trying to work that hard. It's a lot of hard work because you gotta add all the descriptions, take a bunch of photos, post it on eBay. Then you gotta ship it. And then you gotta leave a review. All this crap. I, me, I ain't trying to do all that. Now this, vlogging? Shit, I could do this all day. But y'all know nothing about that. Somebody just totally called me while I was shooting a bit. I was 35 minutes into my video. Then they called and they shut it. Made my video shut off. I'm actually really disappointed about that. Wait till I find out who that was. All right, ladies and gentlemen, right now I'm rolling back to my, to where I work. First, I have to go deliver these packages for my lovely wife. Like she doesn't want to be in any videos, but I'm gonna get her. One day I'm gonna get her. She ain't even gonna expect it. Some people just don't know how to drive. I mean, that's all there is to it. I mean, thank goodness there's people like me on the street who know how to drive. Oh, ow. There goes a popo right there. He's trying to pull me over. No, not really. The other day I got pulled over though. They said I was littering and shit. First of all, like I don't litter. Like who do you think I am? Second of all, thank goodness they let me go without getting a ticket. I don't have money to be paying for it littering that I didn't even litter. Do the crime, do the time, you know, but I didn't even do the crime. And I, I'm, I'm literally just like right across the street. I used to walk over there and then walk back and eat in my office, but yeah. It's like, I'm there all day. I'm not trying to eat in there too. Sometimes I need a little bit of that meat time because I'm always trying to entertain people. It's always like I'm with somebody. It's always something going on, running in there and talking about something, having to explain something. Oh, we're going up a hill. Alright. So yeah, I just pulled up to work. So let's go do this real quick. Now, you know, the vlogging at the store was a little bit awkward. But uh, being at work doing it is even more awkward. Because it's like, like, what are you doing, dude? Like, you're vlogging? Like, for real? Like, when did you become a YouTuber? You know, like, who do you think you are? Usually, I don't wait on the red light for the walk. Usually, I just cut across. But for the sake of this video, I'm gonna follow the law. Because there's, there's actually a popo, like, right over there. And I would've got caught in jaywalking. The cops are probably like, Oh, who's this, who's this guy I think he is, like, vlogging? It's like, that's the kind of stuff you're gonna have to deal with. Like, if you wanna be a vlogger, like, that's what you're gonna have to deal with. Just don't worry about them, you know? But it's all right, because I'm used to doing, like, crazy-ass shit. You know, putting myself on the spot. And doing things that are really embarrassing. But for me, it's not embarrassing. But for whoever's with me, it's like really embarrassing. But you know, I just say, hey, you don't like it, go somewhere else. 
go hang somewhere else. Go hang with somebody else. You know? If you think I'm too embarrassing, it's like... Get a new friend. Sometimes I almost get ran over right here. Like people don't even give a fuck. You know what I'm saying? They just be driving crazy as hell. Yeah, I was looking at some of the vloggers. It takes them a long time to actually grow their channel. So we'll see how long this shit's gonna take. I know that shit ain't gonna happen overnight. Maybe six months. But I'm thinking uh, a few years. Right now I have like 48 subscribers. Maybe only 47. I don't even know where they came from. Hi, ladies and gentlemen. I'm about to go back to work. I hope you enjoyed that. It was a little bit different. You know, I haven't got on here and like vlog like this. And just kind of try to keep it going and entertain you. But, uh... It was good. I liked it. And maybe we'll do more videos like this. This is a vlog experiment. And I guess it's all right. You know what I mean? Like, I guess if you're doing cool stuff, I mean, I'm just on my lunch break eating a salad. So hopefully that was entertaining. But uh, yeah, I just wanted to see what vlogging was about so I can document it. Cause like I said, this channel is all about experimenting with different videos to see the results see what works the best anyway y'all stay up all right go ahead like subscribe comment you know what i'm saying join the cat daddy team you know what i'm saying i'm gonna holler at y'all later